In this video, we'll see how to create a live channel in Decast. Please note that your account must be activated first before you can create a new live channel. I'm logged into my Decast account and I'll click Live Channels. I'll click Create for a new live channel. First, I'll assign this channel the name Webcam. Then I'll choose HTML5, which is compatible with nearly all devices, including computers, tablets, and phones. I'll click Add New. Now the channel has been added to my list of live channels. I'll click the channel name to view its properties. The first set of options is in the Descriptions page. Here is my channel's name, which I could edit. By default, the channel is online. If I turn this to off, even if my video is streaming in my encoder, the channel will not be accessible, as I can see when clicking Preview. So be sure that your channel is online when you want viewers to access your stream. By default, 30 minute rewind is off. If I turn this on, then viewers will be able to rewind up to 30 minutes of a live stream. I can enter a channel description here. If I have images for a thumbnail or a splash screen, I can upload those here. Thumbnails are used for reference in your Decast account, and splash screens appear at the start of streaming and are also displayed when the channel is offline. Next, I'll click Publish Settings. The first two settings enable me to set in which countries or websites my live stream can be viewed. These options control various features such as password protection, view count, Google Analytics, etc. On this side, I can choose whether to use the default white label player theme or I can create and use my own branded theme. This embed code, in JS or iframe format, is used for embedding the stream on a web page. In a web editor, such as WordPress, I would edit the web page in text mode and paste in this code. These identical share codes are URLs I can share with viewers. The encoder setup page is where I can get the input needed for connecting this channel to one of the encoders that pairs with Decast. Any RTMP compatible encoder can be used. For each live channel I set up, I have a stream URL, stream name, and login and password, which are all needed to configure the various encoders. Monetization is used for charging fees for content, such as pay-per-view or subscriptions. Finally, the analytics page can be used to see viewer data. The preferences section contains several settings that are used to control live channels. For example, I can open Player Customization to create my own branded player theme, or Video Security to create a country or referrer group. For any questions or tips on setting up your live stream, please refer to our knowledge base, or feel free to contact us 24-7 by chat. 